This video is going to show you how to solve an example problem using Coulomb's Law. All the charges in this, in this example problem are in a straight line. To begin with, I want to find the net electric force acting on charge B. So to find the electric force, I'm going to use Coulomb's Law. To do this, I need to find two things. I need to first figure out the direction of all the forces that are going to be applied to B, and I'm going to determine the magnitude of those forces. When I'm solving this problem for the sake of this example, I'm going to ignore what happens with gravity and any other forces. I'm just going to focus on the net electric force. So to begin with, I'm going to look what A does to B and find the direction of the force that A applies to B. So I'm going to ignore C and D and just focus on A and B. That's why the C and D are faded away. So I'll start with the free body diagram. A is the same charge as B, so it's going to push B to the right. So A repels B to the right. That means its force is going to go to the right. Now let me look at a different pair of charges. So I'm going to look at C and B, and I'll fade away A and D. So C and B. C is negative, B is positive. They're opposite charges. So C is going to attract B, and it's going to attract it to the right. So I'll add one more force, pushing that one also to the right. Now let's look at the last pair, D and B. D and B are the same sign charge. So because of the same sign charge, D will repel B, and B will repel D. We really don't care what happens to D, we only care what happens to B because the question says about the acting, what happens to B. So when I look at this, D is going to repel B to the left. So I'll draw my arrow on my free body diagram, F, D, B, going to the left. So now I've essentially created my equation with my free body diagram. The net force is equal to all the forces going to the right minus all the forces going to the left. So the net force is going to be F, A, B plus F, C, B minus the forces going to the left, which in this case is only one, F dB. So I'll look at my givens and list those out. So I've listed all my givens. Notice how I've converted my little um, extensions over into typical math form, exponential form. And you can see too that I've dropped the negative signs because I'm getting ready to calculate magnitude and I don't need to know the negative signs to calculate magnitude, just the positive value for the charge. Also look at the distance over here between D and B. Between D and B the distance is 14 times to the negative 6. So I use the other two distances, the 8 and the 6 added together to give me the 14. So for the sake of space I'm going to get rid of my givens and show you the answers. So I'm going to use Coulomb's law, FAB equals KQQ over R squared. And then I showed in all my numbers and my units and got my final answer. And there's my other magnitude. Now remember you can stop this video if you want to check your work and see how it compares. So those are the forces going to the right. Now to find the force going to the left, I do the same thing with D and B. I ignore C when I'm calculating D and B. I put in all my numbers as I'm showing here, and I get my 5.504 times to the 14. So I'm going to subtract that from my other numbers at the top. So all the forces going left minus all the forces going to the right. So I found my free body diagram, determined the directions, then I put in my magnitudes of all the forces into my free body diagram, or the formula I got from the free body diagram. Next step, do a little bit of math, and I find the magnitude of the net force, net electric force acting on particle B is 1.96 times 10 to the 15 newtons. And because it's a positive answer, it's going to go to the right, because I assumed at the beginning that everything going to the right is positive, and everything going to the left is negative.